Hi everyone, how's it going? My name is Sergio and welcome to the second episode of the Anima 2D Basics tutorial. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at how we can edit the sprite meshes we've created in the last episode, as well as setting them up for our character. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start. Uh, remember, we're here in the sprites folder, Anima 2D meshes folder. And let's select the first one, the body mesh. Click on edit sprite mesh. And this will open a new window. This is the sprite mesh editor from Anima 2D. And I'm just going to dock it down here next to the scene view. And over here you can see that we have our sprite with a bunch of blue dots and lines. As well as some triangles. So basically the way in which the sprite meshes work is that you create new vertices that are connected by edges. Which creates... Uh, the sprite mesh which will then be used for the character now we can see that anima 2d has done already a pretty good job at setting the vertices for us but let me go over the basics of the sprite mesh editor so uh, to create new vertices anywhere you want you just have to double click and as you can see there it created a new vertice the vertice will automatically connect with the adjacent vertices with that vertice selected, if you hit delete, that will remove the, um, the vertice. Then to split the edges, in case you want to add more vertices to your mesh, which will make it more detailed, we can, we can say. Um, you basically just have to click on the edge you want to split, and then click uh, hit shift on your keyboard and that will create a new vertice then left click and like that we just have a new vertice added to our mesh let's create a couple more over here to keep everything a little more homogeneous but here you can see that uh, since we have this vertice selected now i'm pressing shift and it's trying to create an edge so to clear that just right click whoops actually the stop pressing shift and then right click that will clear the selection now let's go ahead over, over here and click on this edge create a couple more vertices down here as well perfect with all that done we can go ahead and create a few more vertices over here in the heaps area the reason we're doing this is because later on we're gonna add a torso bone that is gonna come over here as well as a hip bone that means that whenever we move the torso bone back and forth, the, this part of the mesh will deform. Now, if we create more vertices around this area, the Anima 2D will do a better job at deforming our sprite mesh. So, let's go ahead and create a few more vertices over here. Now, since this is a pretty simple character, we're not going to need an obscene amount of vertices. But let's just create a few. And that is good enough okay now let's create a couple more up here and with that done we can hit apply and that will save all the changes to our mesh now let's keep going on to the next next uh, sprite mesh which is the head now since here we're only only gonna have one bo bone sorry i don't know i can't talk today uh we don't need to create any more vertices we already have a whole bunch of vertices over here which outlines pretty well our shape so we don't need to do anything else let's move on to the left arm now for this arm this one is gonna have two bones one from here to the hand and another one from the shoulder to the, this middle part right here so let's uh, first of all let's hit slice and apply that will uh, create are a better outline for our mesh and then let's also create a bunch of vertices over here where the bones are gonna meet uh, and that's basically where the sprite mesh is gonna deform so we need more vertices around this area with that done we can hit apply and that's done as well let's move on to the left leg same process slice apply 
and then on this on the legs we're gonna have actually three bones one that comes from up here to the to the knee then down from the knee to where the foot starts so let's go ahead and create a bunch of vertices down here and that looks good enough so let's go ahead and hit apply that's done as well and then re repeat the same process with the left uh, with the right arm and the right leg perfect now that we're done setting up the meshes we're ready to go ahead and close the sprite mesh editor window and start creating an actual character so let's go ahead and create an empty game object which we're gonna call steve now let's reset the transform save the scene always remember to save the scene just in case we have any issues with unity and it crashes because unity never crashes right so let's go ahead and drag each one of the body parts onto the steve game object and there it goes now we have a whole bunch of parts here that don't really make sense so let's go ahead and rearrange them we have the body right here which we can leave at the center let's move the head upwards a little bit somewhere around here seems good then the left arm there it goes the left leg let's bring it down about here the right arm which we're actually gonna have to rotate but let's move the right leg first there it goes now let's rotate the arm with the rotate tool and that's that seems good enough perfect now of course you can keep moving them until you find what seems best for you but for the sake of time let's go ahead and move on save the scene and then we're gonna i've already created a sorting layer for the character but basically you just have to go over here on the sorting layer in any of the body parts in the sprite mesh instance script create a sorting layer and just hit the plus and call it whatever you want i'm gonna use let's actually go ahead and use the steve sorting layer so but before we do that let's take a let's take a look over here at what this sprite mesh instance script has basically this is just like the sprite renderer only to this script we can assign bones now we're not going to do that in this episode but it's something to keep in mind for the next one uh, by adding new bones to this list uh, that will basically make the bones appear in the sprite mesh editor which will allow us to bind the bones to the mesh so that the mesh actually moves with the bones so but let's go ahead and move the body to the order one in the sorting layer actually first we need to select all of the game objects and change them to the steve layer and then let's go ahead and move the head to two the left arm to four the left leg to three and right arm and right leg can stay where they are perfect as you can see we already have something that actually makes some sense so that was it for this episode of the tutorial as you can see it's pretty easy and straightforward in the next episode we were gonna ha we're gonna go ahead and take a look at how to create the bones and the ak's so i hope you liked this video if you liked it give me a thumbs up if you have any questions comments suggestions leave them in the comments down below and i'll see you in the next episode thank you for watching